Hello, boys and girls. I hope you're doing well. We're going to do our skills lesson now. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna do it a little bit differently. I have a PowerPoint that we're gonna go through so that we don't miss anything. Um, you will need a few supplies for today's lesson. Um, you are going to need two objects, two small objects. Um, we use cubes, but I know you don't have cubes at home. So you can use cans for this, or if you have coins, two coins, um, just something small that you can use. And you can also use one of these for when we start moving our objects around. And you're also going to need your broken crayon today. Okay, so those are some things that you're gonna need. So I'm gonna share my screen now with you. Okay, so here we go. So today we're going to learn how to count sounds and we're also going to practice drawing our vertical lines today. Let's start off by practicing counting to 10. We're going to use our fingers. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great job. Now this time, I want you to do it with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great job. Now we're going to play something called How Many Noises? And this is where you're going to need your objects. So if you don't have your objects yet, your, your two, either your two coins or two cans, or if you have two blocks, that will work as well. If you don't have those, you can pause the video now and get those and then come back to the video. So what we're gonna do is I am going to make a noise. And for each noise that you hear, you're going to move one of your objects forward. How many noises did you hear? You heard one. So do you see how on my table I moved one of the blocks forward? That's exactly what you should do when you hear those noises. Now, let's try again. This time we heard two noises, so we moved two blocks forward. Okay, great work. Now, we're gonna do it again, and this time I want you to move your objects as well. For each sound you hear, you will place that object on the table. So you should have moved one object on the table just then because you heard one noise. Let's do one more. Time, you should have moved two objects on the table because you heard two noises. Great job. Now, we're going to talk about left and right a little bit. Okay, so <clears throat> when we greet a person, we shake the person's right hand. So we would take our right hand and shake it with the other person. Now, I don't have anybody to shake my hand with, but if I did, this is how it would be. Now, I want you to try it with your mom or your dad or your brother or your sister. Shake their hand. You are shaking their hand with your right hand and their right hand is shaking as well. Now, I want you to take, remember those objects I asked you 
to get. Okay, I want you to get that object now and I want you to follow me. If you need to pause the video to get your object, that's fine. Okay, and I need to get my object as well. So I'm gonna use my die like I did the other day, okay? We're gonna put the die on top of our head. Now you put your object on top of your head. Now I want you to lift your foot and move your object down to the bottom of your foot. Now I want you to raise your arm sideways and I want you to move your object over your arm. Great job. Now, raise your arm, and I want you to put your object under your arm. Great job. Now, I want you to take your object and put it on the right side of your body. And now, I want you to take your object and put it on the other side of your body. And the other side is your left side. Now, we're going to move your object into the middle of your arm. Now, I want you to put your object under your elbow. So, under your elbow. Great job. Now, we're going to move on to our tripod grip. So now you're gonna to need to get your small broken crayon. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm learning how to do this PowerPoint. So we're gonna work on our tripod grip. So if you have your broken crayon, you're gonna take your thumb and your pointer finger. It's like baby shark. Baby shark, do 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 do, right? and you're gonna put your crayon inside of that. This is called the tripod grip. Okay, do you see that? And this is how you should be writing with it, okay? Now, um, you remember the other day when we got our piece of paper out and we hung it on the refrigerator or wherever? That's what I want you to do, okay? So I'm gonna give you a minute to do that if you need to. I'm going to turn my computer to my paper here so that you can see it. Okay. We're going to practice today using our tripod grip to draw a vertical line. So, we're going to practice drawing vertical lines. So, we're going to go to the top of our paper and we're going to pull down to the bottom of our paper, okay? Now, I want you to take your broken crayon and I want you to point to the left of your paper and I want you to point to the right of your paper. Okay, now I want you to point to the middle of your paper, the middle. Very good. Now, I want you to watch me as I draw a vertical line. A vertical line is a line, is a straight line that goes from the top to the bottom. Okay, so top to the bottom, top to the bottom, top to the bottom as I'm holding my broken crayon and my tripod grip. Okay. Your work today is this. You will need 
two in your skills book, okay, you're going to be doing assignment on activity page 3.1, and it looks like this, and you are going to be drawing vertical lines starting at the top and going down to the bottom. Okay. You also have a back side of this where you will go from the top to the bottom to the top to the bottom. Once you're finished with that, have your have your mom take a picture of it or your dad take a picture take picture of it and email it to me or send it to me through Class Dojo. Okay. All right. I hope you had a great lesson today and I can't wait to see you tomorrow because we are going to learn how to draw some new lines.